Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to PP01, my first PowerPoint. The purpose of this exercise is just to have you go through and make a new PowerPoint presentation. It'll be blank to start. You're going to format the fills and strokes of text boxes. You're going to format text inside the text boxes, the alignment, the fonts. You're also going to make bullet lists, adjust the line spacing, format backgrounds, and you're going to apply effects such as transparency, textures, and soft edges and we're just going to get you familiar with doing that. I'm going to use the Mac version. It's very similar to the Windows version, so hopefully you'll be able to follow along. I'll show you a sample right here by just going up to Slideshow, Play from Start, and this is the first slide. You can see it, it kind of pushes up. That's the transition between the two slides, and this, this uh, presentation, it basically just has a box with a blue fill and a dark blue stroke on it. It has a drop shadow around the edge that you can see. It also has white text that's centered vertically, we may put a little drop shadow on that um, additionally. And here's my name down here. And there's also a textured background that's on here. When I go to the next slide, it shows a similar kind of title with a box. It also shows a blue box that's kind of transparent. It's actually 20% 20, 20 or 80% transparent and 20% kind of opaque. And it has soft edges on it. And when you hit the space bar, it makes bullet list items appear. There's one, two and three and we'll adjust how to do the space between these and how to set up the slides and again we're going to start with a blank slide okay so from here I'm going to make a new presentation I'm going to go file new blank presentation and it's choosing blank right off the bat but if you get the little window where it has the templates you could just choose blank presentation and this is the way it'll start up in Windows 2 and I'm just going to add a title here this is placeholder text and I'm just going to add a title that says my first PowerPoint and I'll just click my name down here and you could put your name there for number four we're just gonna highlight this text here we're gonna put it in Georgia bold which is a serif font so we'll just go down and find Georgia so there's my Georgia bold font I'm gonna leave this the way it is right now it's 24 point it's Calibri we might change it a little bit and next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to click on the edge of this. I'm going to use the quad arrow. And what I mean by the quad arrow is that four-sided arrow. And I'm going to right-click on that, and I'm going to go down to Format Shape. And when I go down to Format Shape, it'll open up this Format Shape task pane. And it should look very similar in Windows. There may be some slight differences. But when I go into this, I'm going to go under my my Shape Options, which is the one on the left side. And you can see they have a fill, and they also have a line. And I'm going to give it a solid fill, so I'll open up my fill options. I'll go to solid fill, and here's where the color is. I'm going to choose kind of a uh, kind of a medium. I'll give it kind of a medium blue color, and then I'll give kind of a darker outline on that. So I'll start off with a kind of a medium blue color. I think on your on your options, it's kind of called blue accent one. Okay, then I'm going to go to my line, and I'm going to open up my line, and I'm going to use a solid line and I'm just going to use a darker blue color. I'll use a dark blue color and I'll make it about two point. So here's my width of the line right here. I'll make that two point. And you can see it's hard, a little hard to see on here, but it's kind of a darker blue outline on there. I could have used black as well. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is go to effects. So I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm clicked on this and then I'm going to go to effects. It's this kind of polygon or pentagon shape and I'm going to go here to effects and I'm going to going to go to shadow and I'm going to use a drop shadow and you can see they have presets right here under shadow and I'll just click on this I'll use the very first preset and that's fine right there you can see you can adjust the size and the blur you could make it more blurry or less blurry I think on the instructions they tell you to make the blur 8 point the distance 6 point so I'll put my blur down to 8 or close to it and the distance already is six points, so that should be fine. You can also adjust the, the transparency. You can make it a little lighter. I'll go up to 65. Okay, those are all options of this drop shadow that's underneath here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is make the text color white. Now, you have to make sure that when you do that, you go to text options. Because now when I go to text options, I'm going to go where it says solid fill. You can see it's on black right now. And I'm going to make it white. That makes the text white. And then I'm also going to go to this thing here. This is the text box. So I'm going to go to the text box, and I'm going to change the alignment, vertical alignment. And right now it's on bottom, so I'm going to make it middle. So it shows up in the middle of the box, and that's the way I want it to look. 
And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the box with my name right here, and I'll click on it with the four quad arrow, and I'll just kind of nudge it down a little bit. I think it mentions to kind of move it down a little bit. And then you could even change the vertical alignment to middle, so that would be in the same place over here. I'd, I would go under text options and I would choose the text box. And I'm going to make that also middle. And that'll move my name down a little bit. And I think I'm going to make my name a little bit bigger and make it like 32 point. And I'm also going to make it that same blue color that's in the center of the box. So I'll go over here to my text fill color. And you could also do that. You could just go over here and do it as well. You could, you could choose the blue here as well and do that bl blue color, or you could have done it over here. You could also choose it from here, which it already did, so that's all we have to do for that. Okay, that was number 15 and 16 on our instructions. Number 17 says click on the background of the slide. That means this white area over here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to Format Background, and that'll change this format area to Format Background, and we're going to go to Picture or Texture Fill. We'll click on that, and it's using a texture right away. And where you get these from, there's this area over here that has little drop downs of textures to choose from. There's all kinds of textures you could use. The one we're going to use is called Stationary. It looks very similar to Parchment, but it's a little bit lighter, so we're going to use Stationary because kind of the warm, the, warm, um, the warm color looks nice against the cool blue. So there's nice contrast between those colors. So that's pretty much my, my first slide so far. And that's number 18. So then you would actually be moving on to the second page of your, your instructions. And we're going to work on a second slide.